Once upon a time, there was a great wedding on Mount Olympus. To see him, Thetis was given in marriage to a mortal, Helios, and there was a great wedding feast. All the gods and goddesses were welcome except one, Eris, the goddess of discord, was not a welcome guest. But that did not stop her. While the wedding guests sat at a feast, she broke in and flung among them a golden apple, and then left. Someone picked up the apple and read an inscription, For the fairest. And at once, an argument arose among the goddesses. They were all eager to claim the prize, but only three persisted. Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, Hera, queen of Greek gods and wife of Zeus, and Athena, the goddess of wisdom and victory. have traveled all the way from Mount Olympus to ask you to settle an argument for us. Yeah, Zeus said you would help. I would be honored to help you. We would like to know which one is the favorite pair of Hmm. Our duty women are easily beautiful and deserve to just go that after. Let's make a deal. Yes? Okay. Goddess, what do you have to offer me? Okay, Paris, I have a lot to offer. I can make you the king of all over the earth, and you can be the most powerful. I like this song. Goddess of wisdom, what do you have to offer? I can give you wisdom that will surpass all of the smartest men in Greece. You'll be smarter than even Aristotle himself, and you'll be the strongest warrior there ever was. To live. Goddess of love, what do you have to offer me? Well, Paris, I know what you men truly do want in your short life. What is that? Love, of course. If you choose me, I will give you the most beautiful and charming girl in the entire world. And she will fall deep in love with you. After careful thought and consideration, Paris decided to go with. Aphrodite's offer as he believed love to be of most important. Aphrodite promised Paris the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen of Troy. Helen was married to the king of Troy, but that did not stop Paris. He seized Helen and they fell in love at first sight. And as the story goes, this event led to the famous Trojan War. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 